Howdy! Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. Today is September 2nd, 2024, and I am very excited to jump on camera and share an update. There was a press release earlier today sharing some top-line data about a suite of clinical trials that we've been actively participating in at the Boster Center for Multiple Sclerosis. Now, many of you that follow the channel know that I am very, very excited about the development of BTK inhibitors, or Brutine Tyrosine Kinase Inhibitors. These are pills, small molecules, that are being actively studied to treat all different forms of MS, relapsing remitting MS, secondary progressive MS, and primary progressive MS. One of the many manufacturers who have developed some of these molecules is named Sanofi and the molecule that they've developed is called telubrutinib. Now, at the Boster Center, we've been involved in trials in relapsing secondary progressive and primary progressive. And today, we saw a top-line data release, a press release, about two of the three trials. The Gemini trial, which is studying relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis, and the Hercules trial, studying non-relapsing secondary progressive MS. Now, they did say that the Perseus trial has not been read out yet, and we're not going to hear more about that for several more months. Now, there's good news and bad news to share, and I'll start with the bad news first. In the Gemini trial, which studied telubrutinib, a BTK inhibitor, in relapsing MS, it failed. It did not hit its primary outcome measure. It was not found better than the comparator. And this is actually consistent with an earlier clinical trial that I reported on several months back called evobrutinib. In both evobrutinib and now in telubrutinib, it does not look like BTK inhibitors are able to do better than active comparators, and that's a real shame. However, here's the exciting news. In the Hercules trial, this is a clinical trial with people that have non-relapsing secondary progressive MS. So they used to have relapses in the past, they haven't had them in a long time, and they are having progression of disability. In the Hercules trial, when we apply telubrutinib, it was successful in slowing down disability progression. It beat out the placebo. Now, this is a really big deal because we've never been able to do this to date. And I am absolutely thrilled that it looks like we might be able to impact secondary progressive MS. This is extremely early data. We don't know the effect size. We don't know any of the other outcome measures. And very importantly, we don't know anything about safety. But this one press release is profoundly exciting, and I can't wait to hear more. My name is Aaron Boster, and as always, thank you for learning about MS with me, and thank you for sharing my excitement as we start to uncover how to treat progressive MS. If you're curious about BTK inhibitors, I'll throw a link to a video that I made in the past, and you can kind of check out how they work. And please stay tuned to the channel so you can learn more and hear updates as they occur. As always, my name is Aaron Boster, and thank you for learning about MS with me.